Hey everybody, Commander Kirby, your international man of leisure, and today I'm still coming to you from Japan, but it's a very special Commander Kirby international man of leisure. You see, today I am taking part in a cultural event that is not from Japan. It's actually from Mexico, that's right. It is April 30th, and it is Children's Day here in Japan, which is a Mexican holiday where, up according to, at least according to my host over here, Frank. I don't know if you can see him in the background playing volleyball. But anyway, Children's Day apparently is a holiday here in uh, in Mexico, and Frank is showing everybody here in Japan a little bit of the Mexican culture. So he's exposing the Japanese and yours truly to a Mexican holiday where they uh, get together and have pinatas and food, and the kids get together and play, and it's it's. it's it's been pretty pretty fun so far. I'm gonna get Frank up here in a bit, a little bit, to tell us all about it. And uh, yeah, this has been pretty good. And, and I tell you what, the most important thing for me is that one of the things I've been missing since I left Texas to come over here to Japan is uh, is good authentic Mexican food. They 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 don't even have they don't have good authentic Mexican. They don't have good authentic Tex-Mex here in Japan. It's one of the one of the few things that that, that makes me kind of sad here in Japan. So I got to come here today, and while we were waiting for all the festivities to begin, they had some delicious food laid out for us all to try, and I managed to grab myself a uh, couple of uh, the fajita meat tacos and made those up for myself. I got myself a, oh, what, all, what all do we have here? I got some barbacoa, they had some tres leches, and... What all do we have over here? Ooh, yeah, pulled porks. I got some delicious barracha beans and homemade fresh tamales. And there you are. There's the delicious fresh tamales in the corn husks. I'm telling you, today has made me a happy, happy person. So I'm gonna let Frank finish up with his uh, volleyball game over there. And then I'm gonna bring him over here to tell you everybody, to tell you all about what Children's Day is and what his plans are for the future here in uh, Japan. So I'm standing here with Frank. He's the one that set up Children's Day for us here. So I'm gonna let Frank introduce himself, tell us a little about himself, and then tell us about what Children's Day is. Yeah, hello guys. Um, my name is Frank Subert, and uh, I stay home with my kids. And, uh, this holiday, uh, Children's Day, is celebrated in Mexico, you know, all throughout Mexico on the 30th of April, every year. And, uh, well, I had to, uh, when I was growing up, I didn't get presents on my birthday, which is the 29th of April. But every time I went to school, my teacher, it never failed, she had a present for me. Not really a present, but it was, she was, it was a toy for Children's Day. So I kind of learned to uh, like that holiday. and. I missed it when I was here, so it just occurred to me this, this year to celebrate that for my kids because they're 11 and 14, so I want them to know about our culture, Hispanic culture, and it came out pretty good. I really enjoyed it. All right, so you're not originally from Japan then? No, I'm not. <laughs> Where are you originally from? I'm from Mexico City, I'm from originally, yeah. All right, so you're an expat here living in Japan? Yes, I am. <clears throat> All right, how long you been out here? A year, in, in, in Iwakuni, but in Okinawa, Almost nine years. All righty, and so, so, uh, so Children's Day is a as a, a holiday in Mexico. Mexico, right? And you were sh you were sharing it with everybody here in Japan, right? Yes, I was. So, what did you think of it today? It came out really good. I didn't think it was going to be this many people, but they actually came out and, and they have fun. They really enjoyed it. They, I think. I think. All right. So you think next year is going to be even better? I think so. I think that they're going to get the word out and it's going to be nicer, better. Yes. Yeah. Well, I was I was actually happy to see a lot of the locals here. I mean, I, I knew some of the expat community to be here, but I was really ha I was really happy. I'm being attacked from hey, behind, folks. <laughs> I'm being attacked from behind, folks. No need to see what they were doing with that. But <laughs> anyway, it was I was nice seeing. I knew the expats were going to show up, but it was really nice seeing some of the locals here. Yes, they really loved the food. I, I was amazed. They took food home for their families. They they asked for it. Says yes, please take food, and they took it. They well, love the tamales. <laughs> well, I was happy because you know I'm I'm I came here from Texas, oh. and I, I I have not been able to find good 
Mexican food here in Japan since I got here. So I was happy for that. So I'm glad the locals loved it. Oh yes, they did. All right, well, let's hope next year is, is uh, a success. We get even more people here next time. It will be for sure, because next year we'll have a, a dance group, a Ballet Folklorico Romero Cuny dance group, which I'm working on right now. So to teach people how to dance, regional dances from Mexico. All right. I did that in Okinawa and hopefully we'll do that here soon. All right, well, I'm looking forward to that too. Uh, hopefully I should still be here next year at this time. So Frank, once again, thank you for bringing me, having me out here today. This was thank putting this on, coming. it was great. It was beautiful, thank you. Beautiful day, beautiful people, beautiful friendships. It was nice, All right. all around. Thank you. All right, thank you, Frank. And everybody, that's the, gonna do, wrap us up now. So once again, an amazing day here in Japan. Got to see some Mexican culture in Japan. That was actually fun. Got to uh, experience it with the locals. They did. That's the only sad thing is that they did, in fact, take all of the delicious food. So I guess I'll have to make some of myself. And maybe I'll get another video up with that. But until next time, make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe. Let's try and get me up. I've, if we get 100 subscribers, if I get to 100 subscribers, I'm going to do a... Uh, a video showing everybody my house. We will do the, we'll do the house. And then I'm, if I can get up to a thousand subscribers, um, I'll have something special for that. I'll, I'll post that here a little later once I get the, everything uh, squared away on that. But again, thank you all for watching. Drop a comment in below if there's anything you'd like for me to see, for me to explore here in Japan. But until next time, you all stay safe and take care.